We're going to briefly talk about a subjective notion between these two guns. Everyone has a different idea of what a good recoil impulse should feel like or what they like. So here we go. The SP-01 Shadows and the actual SP-01 have very thin tapered slides. Well, they're not tapered, but they're, they're very thin and they don't have a lot of mass to them. Now, they're metal, they're steel, they've got mass, but when you shoot this gun, what you see is a very high slide velocity, which means that your sights return to zero or your original point of aim very quickly. Now, if you're a Grandmaster level shooter and you've got a monster monkey grip and you can really clamp down on this thing, then having a nice fast cycle speed is going to be very advantageous to you. And a lot of people really like that. But one of the things that I found with this particular gun is that yes, the cycle speed was great shooting 135 grain round nose flat points at 132,000 power factor, but because of the grip issues, what I ended up having was inconsistencies in where my sights would settle. And what I mean by that is that I would have to fight the gun to shoot a floating sight picture. Every time the gun would recoil because my grip would slip just a little bit or my grip would not be as consistent as I would like it from shot to shot, I would have to spend time correcting that floating sight picture to get that sight exactly where I want. The whole idea behind a floating sight picture is that the gun returns to your original point of aim and you just simply shoot as the gun floats in recoil. Or if you're moving between targets, you simply shoot as the front sight comes over the target. And that is essentially a floating sight picture. So you have to work really hard at that to, uh, to get to the point where the gun will recoil, reciprocate the same every time. So because of the grip issue, issues, because of the slide velocity, I found that I was having some issues really shooting this gun as well as I would like. Now my build, build drill times at seven yards, uh, all A-zone hits are still hovering a little bit above two seconds, um, but that's where I am right now. So, you know, I really have to work on it and I found that I was really fighting the gun to get it to where I wanted it to be. Now. Enter the PO9. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm getting over a cold. The PO9 for me has a very, very, very thick, fat, heavy slide. Now, this is a 31 ounce gun, this is a 42 ounce gun, but were I to put these on a scale, I haven't yet, I'm pretty sure the, uh, the slide on this guy is actually heavier than what's on the Shadow. So, what you find with this is a very muted recoil impulse where the sights will lift and then return. Uh, very, very, very consistently. And the way that I kind of like compare this is picture this. If you were to take the SP01 slide, you would drag it through water, okay, back and forth. If you were to take the P09 slide, you would drag it through a low viscosity oil. Now, it's not sluggish by any means at all, but what you find is that, or what I've found, is that under recoil, because of the consistencies in my grip and the way this pistol tracks for me, I had a much easier time shooting a floating sight picture, shooting build drills well, and shooting consistently because that sight is just returning to that original point of aim every single time in a more consistent manner. As far as actual sight lift between the two, it's very, very, very similar. Hammer fired guns are great because I have a sneaking suspicion that the actual hammer spring acts as a bit of a dead blow, so when the slide comes back, what you'll find is that it has to overcome the force of the recoil spring, which is usually just used to return the slide to, uh, to battery, but also the hammer spring as well. Whereas on, say, a Glock, you really only have you know, the, uh, the actual recoil spring acting as your, your, your return force. So uh, there's more forces being exerted on this actual pistol than just the actual recoil spring. But I'm not a physicist and I'm actually kind of dumb when it comes to that stuff. So I'm not going to comment any further. But uh, as far as recoil impulses go, I actually prefer the PO9. Could it be because of the consistencies in the grip? There's a strong possibility of that. But uh, you know how the pistol sits in my hand and how I'm able to actually lock in my grip on this versus how the pistol sits in my hand on this and how I'm able to not lock in my grip as, consistent as, as consistently as I would like uh, definitely lends itself towards having a different recoil impulse between the two. Um, and obviously my favoritism tends to kind of scoot towards this guy. Now I've got uh, 10,000 rounds between these two pistols, the SP-01s and the Shadow. So I've got a lot more time on this. This gun still has the new car smell, it's under 500. So I really need to ring this one out more before I say, oh yes, this one is quote unquote better for me. But uh, that's my subjective comparison of recoil.